charge attack special brace literally take victory from the jaws of defeat defeating the mets five to three in extra innings Whew, i got my pacing game down it's a hundred percent but boy that was absolutely incredible marcelo Ozuna going off the deck literally down to our last strike and last out edwin diaz tried to tried to sneak a fastball uh past ozuna Actually, wasn't a bad pitch, but Marcel McKibbe tumbled it and said, yeah, you ain't gas facing me again. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful swing. Crushed it uh, for a solo shot, got it tied, and just trying to change the fortunes and the mood of all Braves country and that dugout, and you could tell. Absolutely amazing there. Marcel, all is forgiven. You're with the good guys now, and I expect to see a lot more... Uh, Big hits from you. You are just fitting in so great right now. Absolutely amazing there. Two to two, uh, bottom of the ninth, and Snicker brings in his favorite reliever. Not necessarily mine, Luke Jackson, and he came up huge, Luke Jackson, even though, of course, it had to be adventurous um, after a one pitch, one out line line shot to enter in Ciarte. You thought maybe, well, maybe it won't be adventurous. Yeah, that was too good to be true as he gave up back-to-back -back singles to Rosario and Conforto. And then he was able to wiggle out of that with a fly out by Nemo and a nice play by Danzy Swanson off a grounder off the bat of Jeff McNeil deflected by Luke Jackson, kind of an in-between hop. And he was able to get the speedy McNeil to end that threat. And then the floodgates open for the Braves offense with Adam Duvall starting the inning at second base. Uh, Danzy Swanson had the best at bat of the day, kind of Nick Marquez-esque, very professional. You could tell what he was trying to do, uh, get the ball to the right side, get get Adam two-third with less than two outs, did one better, was able to stay with an 0-2 slider by Hunter Strickland, comb it right up the middle for an RBI, and then the baseball god started smiling as Johan Camargo had a CNI single pass uh, in between a couple guys, and it kind of looked like a pinball. And then Danzy Swanson had to channel his inner hurdles uh, to get first to third. Really good base run in there. Inner NCRT was able to put the ball in play into kind of soft contact, no man's land um, for an RBI ground up. Helped with the speed of Danzy Swanson at third base, and Hunter Strickland kind of bobbled it. Uh, and spelled doom for him there. And then William Contreras coming up huge. The first major league pitch he's ever seen. Absolutely crushed a double in the gap. Stayed on a slider nicely. Absolutely incredible. Five to two. And we needed every single one of those as Luke Jackson was back out there again. And I was really surprised. I thought we would see Mark Melanson. Not the case. We went back with Luke Jackson. And McNeil started the uh, inning at second base. And what did Luke Jackson do? Promptly gave up back-to-back -back singles by Jake Marisnik and Pete Alonzo. The Pete Alonzo one was a little dunker right at Ender Inciarte. And maybe he could have tried, but that, that was a little bit too risky for my blood there. So base is loaded, no out, uh, up five to two. And high wire act Luke Jackson does it again as he was able to get Eduardo Nunez to fly out to the left. And then Dominic Smith, he scared the bananas, out, the bejesus out of me when he stepped up to the plate. But he was at, he just missed a 95 mile an hour fastball for a sack fly. And then Wilson Ramos grounded out to Danzy Swanson. A very hard slide by Pete Alonzo. Ozzy Alves did not appreciate that, but it doesn't matter. We won the ball game on that. Adventures of Luke Jackson alive and well, but a victory is a victory. Also, got to tip my cap to AJ Minter, who was able to pitch around first and third. Um, one out with two clutch, clutch strikeouts of Brandon Nemo and uh, Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil on the high heat, and that high heat's working big time for AJ Minter right now, so that was absolutely incredible for him uh max reed was really really good besides a four batter stretch in the fifth inning uh came into that inning with allowing no hits but he gave up back-to-back -back hits 
to um, Conforto and RBI double and um, and Rosario and RBI triple and then plunked Nimmo and then McNeil had a nice sacrifice fly but our bullpen was able to hold it. AJ Minter, the uh, pitching MVP and Marcelo Zuna, the offensive MVP for us. That was absolutely incredible. Awesome game. Uh, just can we win like 15 to 1 tomorrow? That'd be great for my heart. Um, but as always, go Braves. That was amazing.